Hi, my name is Rosita, and I work for the Faculty of Graduate and Postdoctoral Affairs at Carleton University. In this video, I'm going to provide you some guidelines on how to put your figures and tables in a technical document like a thesis. Well, if you are a grad student, you will eventually writing up the findings of your research. If you are in a scientific or engineering disciplines, then it's pretty common to have some tables, figures, photographs, charts, graphs, line drawings, maps, and any other illustrative materials. In this video, we refer to all of them as figures and tables. Using figures and tables is good, since they enhance the visual representation of your thesis, and also the readers, including reviewers and examiners, pay most attention to them. So putting them in a proper formatting is important and requires patience and attention to details. Here in this video, we provide some general guidelines on how to put your figures and tables in a thesis. However, there might be slight differences depending on your discipline, so it's always good to check it with your supervisor. Let's start. Here is how a figure should look like in your thesis. All figures should stay within the page margins. All axes need a label with units. It's good to use colors to enhance details, but to be able to distinguish between them, especially in black and white print, make sure to use markers or different line styles. Make sure that all figures have a good resolution. Every figure should be numbered throughout the thesis. Figure numbers end with a period or column. Figures are numbered consecutively throughout the thesis, either in sequential order, like figure 4, and then figure 5, or based on chapters, but either one you choose, stick to it throughout your thesis. Every figure in a thesis should have a caption. A figure caption is centered under the figure. However, if it is more than one line, then make it left aligned. A figure and its caption should appear on the same page. All captions should start with a capitalized word and end with a period. They can be sentence case or title case. But again, either one you choose, stick to it throughout to your thesis. All figures should be first referred to in the text and then appear as close as possible to their first mention. For example, here, figure 4 is first mentioned here, and then appeared close enough. Also, all figures should appear in the order of their numbers. For instance, first figure 4, and then figure 5, and not the other way. When you mention a figure with a number in the text, use capitalized word, like here is depicted in figure 4. But when mentioning in a phrase, like here, it can be seen from this figure, use ordinary style, without capital F. For tables, everything is the same as figures, except that a table caption is centered above the table, and tables are numbered with Roman numbers. That are the guidelines on how to format your figures and tables. I hope this video helps you in the process of writing your thesis. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rosita.